Kareem, thank you. Um, President Biden has said that not every Republican is a MAGA Republican. Would he consider Mitch McConnell a MAGA Republican? I, I'm not going to go into specific uh, name or people uh, from here. Uh, I, what I will say is, you know, when you go back to the speech, uh, his speech last Thursday, uh, you know, people have talked about uh, if it was divisive. It wasn't divisive. The way that we saw this speech uh, is that he was talking to majority of the country who, uh, who agree that uh, we have to protect our democracy, uh, who agree that we have to protect our freedom, who agree that we have to protect our rights. And the point of the speech was that he wanted to really point to an inflection point, an inflection time that we were, we were in at this, in this time in our country. And he spoke very clearly. He talked about uh, a minority, a small group of people uh, who have extreme views uh, and who threaten, who threaten that very, very um, value, core value of who we are as a country. And, um, and, you know, he also asked for people to come together. It didn't matter if you were a Republican or independent or a Democrat. He asked for folks to come together and stand against what we were seeing, uh, the, these attacks. And you don't have to look further than January 6 of 2021 to see what the attack was uh, on our democracy. It was very clear. We all saw it. Many of you reported it that day. And when you have people who say uh, pro the protesters on that day were, were patriots, that's problematic. That's coming from leaders. Uh, and uh, from that extreme part of, uh, of the party. And so that's what he was talking about. Uh, he also ended the speech in a very optimistic way in trying to bring people together. And, um, and so I'll, I'll just leave it there at that time.